Well, nature's majestic freshwater giants, they're disappearing at an alarming rate, meaning some of the world's most important rivers are in some trouble. And because of that, our next guest is traveling the world to investigate and document the damage firsthand in a new show on Animal Planet. Extreme angler and biologist Jeremy Wade is joining me this morning. Jeremy, good morning. Good morning, Mike. I'm interested in learning more about this, but first of all, congrats on the new show. And it's actually called Jeremy Wade's Mighty Rivers. What can you tell us about this? What's it all about? Well, I'm shifting my focus slightly from the, the fish to the medium that they live in. Um, yes, yeah, so over the time that I've been traveling and, and fishing, which is 35 years now, I've noticed that, that there, there is this very dramatic decline. And these fish are the apex predators. They sort of are the indicators to, of the overall health of the river. And so uh, I want to find out what's going on um, and why we should be worried about it if there's anything we can do about it. Yeah, when you talk about the health of a river, I assume you're talking about some of the polluted waterways. How big of a problem is that? And how big of a problem is it worldwide? Uh, pollution is obviously a big one. I mean, people do tend to treat dr rivers as drains unless they are, you know, put under some kind of control. It's, it's a huge problem worldwide. Um, one, one of the, you know, one of the penalties, one of the prices of industrialization that, you know, the, the, the quality of life we have is that there are waste products which need to be disposed of properly. And just putting them in, in the river is, is, you know, it's like industry putting some of their cost out onto the general public, which shouldn't be acceptable. Yeah. Some of the places you're traveling to, uh, where, where are you going with this? Where are you going to investigate? Uh, right, it's, 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 it's global. So we start off, uh, our first episode is uh, the Ganges in India, but also uh, China, my first ever trip to China. I never made any River Monsters episodes there because right. uh, there's no large fish there for me to catch. Uh, Mississippi in the US, uh, Amazon and Danube. Yeah, you are taking this worldwide. You're, you're checking out some um, places around the globe. But what do you hope, I guess, what do you hope audiences will take away from this series? Because I know there's a message there. Well, exactly. I, th I think um, one of the things I want to get across is, is the relevance of this to us. Um, River Monsters was very much about fish, but it's also about people. Um, I think it's making people aware of the the, um, the true nature of the water cycle. We tend to think of water as flowing down rivers into seas, it evaporates into clouds and it just goes round and round. But what we need to remember is that water cycle goes through every single one of us. So if that water is contaminated or if it's uh, not flowing as it should, um, we're in trouble. I mean, we, we can go without food for two or three weeks or, or, or more even. Mm -hmm. uh, water, if we don't have water, it's a couple of days. So it, it's, yeah. it's something that's very important to us. Yeah, and taking a look at this video, I see you, you're, you're working with some of the locals in each place that you travel to. I'm sure you've met some fascinating people and people that also care about these waterways. What have you learned in that respect? Well, absolutely. I mean, one of the things that uh, did come out of this, uh, there are some surprises along the way. I mean, I thought, you know, I came to it with a certain amount of knowledge. Um, there are some surprising things happening, not wanting to give too much away, but that, and there are people who, who are doing great work. There are a lot of people who care, um, but that tends to be a little bit fragmented. And I think um, perhaps another thing I would like out of this to, is to see a, a more sort of joined up approach to uh, just keeping our rivers doing, uh, you know, working to our advantage, really. Yeah, I know rivers are important to us right here on the, the edge of the, the Missouri River in Omaha. Uh, you can catch the premiere of Jeremy Wade's Mighty Rivers this Sunday at 8 p.m. on Animal Planet. Jeremy, thanks for your time this morning. Good luck with the series. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, Kelly, over to you.